So Jimmy, start start with you. You start to feel comfortable. It's like you're getting there. Yeah, I, I've been feeling a little bit uh, more comfortable. Um, you know, I'm just working every day, uh, working with these guys. You know, we got a lot of bigs on the team, a lot of rotations, but uh, you know, today I had a good night, so I'm just working every day. Working on what? What's, what's um, the for you? I mean, me just knowing my role on the team. You know, I'm. I might not be the best offensive player on the team, but you know I play defense. Um, you know, do the, do all the dirty work. So that's that's my role, and I'm happy with it to do whatever the team needs to do to win. You're just kind of wondering your first shot, the hook shot. You obviously were kind of expecting a call there, so you're more frustrated. You turn around, and then your coach is more frustrated than, than what you were. Just kind of like, what was that moment like? You know, so I mean. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big guy, so I mean, I expect, you know, a lot of people to follow me or whatever the case is, but Hugs got our back, um, you know, whatever call it is, so uh, that's just who he is, and, you know, I just got to trust that, you know, Hugs going to have our back, and don't worry about what the, uh, the refs call. Uh, where does your defensive mobility come from? I mean, um, I played soccer growing up, so that probably could be a factor to that. Looks like that little soccer kick is kind of part of you when you're sliding. Right. You have to get rid of that a little bit so Facts, that you, right. yeah. so that you don't kick the ball here. <laughs> yeah. So the, um, the step up from junior college to major college is it a big step? How have you adapted? It's definitely a big step, but you know, practicing with these guys make it a lot more easier when we go out there. So that helped a lot. Trey, what, how have you seen both those guys, Jimmy and um, Mo, progress? You, you, unfortunately, you were on the sidelines watching them a lot in preseason. So how have you seen them grow? Um, I would say that being on the sideline was actually kind of a blessing in disguise because it, it taught me a lot about my teammates and their games and how they think and move. Like Tung just said earlier that he's not the greatest offensive player, but there's been times where we have seen Tunk dominate an entire practice and not miss anything, and nobody could do anything about it because at the, at the end of the day, when he gets in that mode, there's, there's not many people that are going to stop doing anything. And, and Mo's just mobility is, is kind of second to none. He's running. He's guarding them screens. He's the, we call it a big step to kick. You guys are talking about the big step. There's because there's really not anybody that's getting around that big step, to be honest. But these two, credit to both of them. They're in the gym every day working, and they stay consistent with that. The sky's the limit for this team. Trey, you have 21 tonight. You only took 10 shots. Shit. How important is that efficiency to your game? Um, you know, I feel like I kind of just have a a natural knack for scoring a little bit, but I mean, obviously it's, it's, a, it's been an emphasis for me my entire life to be efficient, taking the right shots at the right moments. So a lot of that is almost more credited to the defense than it is to me because I just try to take advantage of different angles and things like that. And when you get me that close to the basket, I'm not probably not gonna miss that much. Coach talked a lot on Friday at, at the brawl about you not even really being unlocked yet and not even seeing the best of you. How do you feel in your progress? Because this game feels like a, another step forward for you. Um, it's it's kind of surreal in a way because this Friday will be six weeks from surgery for me. So um, being that I got back pretty quickly and got back to being able to be out there, now I'm a little behind as far as like conditioning and things like that and, and understanding our offensive plays and things like that. But that's something that I'm working on every day, you know. So it's just going to come with time. And I think that once I get back to, to where I was and, and surpass that, then this team is going to just skyrocket. Trey, in the first half, there was three possessions there where they kind of double teamed you. Um, first couple times you kind of went around it, split it, and went to the basket. Other time you kicked it out to Joe. Do you have a plan or something that you try and do when you get double teamed, or is your goal to always just try and score? So that it's an interesting question to, to, to answer. But um, like I said earlier, I would say that I'm a, a player that plays off the defense because uh, regardless of how you decide to guard me, there's going to be a an opportunity or a window for me to attack. But I mean, I can credit that to my first two years of college, getting double and triple teamed every time I touched the ball at UMass. 
So I guess it was just, that's just a familiar area for me. So when I see that double coming, I know the different angles and different things and how to break that and who's going to be open where sort of thing. Trey, your first two games, you, you were kind of able to kind of hang out on the perimeter a little bit offensively. Was there a point tonight where you said, hey, you know, I'm going to go inside, start coming off some screens and, and, and getting some points in the paint, or was that just kind of how the flow of the game went? Um, I mean, before we even started the game, I knew that I was going to play most of the game inside because their foreman was like eight or nine inches shorter than me. So like it just wouldn't make sense for me to stay out on the perimeter. So that goes back to what I said earlier. I kind of take what the defense gives where I could see my advantage. Where does that versatility come from? Um, yeah, it's just it's kind of it's kind of natural. It's been developed through time. I mean, I was in in high school. I was. I was bringing the ball up to court my freshman, sophomore years, and then junior, senior year, I was kind of banished to the block to kind of to, to kind of hone that skill, and I'm grateful for it. And then um, kind of the same thing, UMass, I was on the block a little bit more than outside, and then now here, I kind of have a, a lot of freedom to, to play off both because I've, I've worked on both at different points in my life, so now it's just kind of all coming together. We've got three big guys in here tonight, but tonight was kind of a showtime game for the guards too, especially defensively. Talk a little bit about what they do for you and do for, do for you guys. I mean, you know, it's quite a show. I mean, them guards like Joe and Keedy always play in the same defense. Like they always bring their intensity, and then we just fed off that every time. You don't often see a guy steal ball twice on one possession. <laughs> <laughs> Like do you like the contact? Do you almost seek it? Do you have to be careful with that because, you know, fouls for you could be easy offensive fouls, yeah. banging away a little too much. I mean, I don't have a problem with contact. I I used to be a football player, so I'm I'm used to contact and people grabbing me and doing what they got to do. To st I mean, I'm a big guy. I'm 280 pounds, so I mean, I, I expect it every game. So I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. You have to be careful. Yeah. Sorry. Um. I, I think I definitely have to be careful, especially when you take, play teams like Moorhead State. They have smaller guys. I mean, you know, it might be different when we get to Big 12 play, but, you know, it's always um, just got to be careful just using my size, using my strength against uh, smaller people. So. Realignment? Yeah, I play offensive tackle and uh, defensive tackle. So. You miss that a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I miss it. Uh, you know, I, I, I talked to some of the football players here and there, and they was like, uh, you know, you don't want to play basketball no more. We can use a left tackle. So, uh, But I, I miss it a lot. Yeah, I definitely miss it. Kind of, you know, three games into the season, each game has kind of been a step forward for you, and and, and have really shown some some good flashes of potential. Uh, has that surprised you at all? I mean, did you expect things to kind of happen as quickly as they have? Mm, not really. I mean, I could say that too, because since I started playing like five years ago. Every year I like level up for like from high school to prep school to JUCO to here. So like every time I used to that little. Get up a little bit and uh, keep working on that. What, what got you into basketball? Just the fact you just kept getting taller? Yeah, or? yeah, <laughs> for sure. First couple yeah. times you went out to play, what was that like? Um, so, like, I used to come to USA for like summer to summer, and then that one time we were just playing in the park, and then little kids were just going by me and saying, You talk for no reason, you know, all the stuff. And then that's when I really started playing. How many times are the big guy gets to have like a run out for a layup or a dunk? First one didn't go perfect for you, right? But the one today, yeah. twice in the season, right? Was there a lot of pressure on that one? Because how many times is that going to happen to you? Right? I mean, not really. That was the first time that happened to me, like losing the ball by myself, going through the grass. But, you know, wasn't that much pressure, for sure. Second one felt better? Yeah. Slower, easier? It's like you know what you're doing both times, but just a better balance. I mean, yeah, it was just like it happens. Sometimes you just lose the ball out of nowhere. Didn't really expect it. We saw that you talked to uh, Eric one-on-one, -on -one, but did Coach Hugg say anything to you guys or as a team overall during the kind of possessions in a row there, the missed layup, the missed cue, kind of getting out of yourselves? Did he say anything to the group? I mean, he did say, like, you know, we got to lock in on those little stuff, but Eric already know, like, what's going on. He know he got to step on that. So that's something he, he correct by himself, you know. Did Eric then communicate that to the team at all? Yeah, we did. We did talk to him. Yeah. Like, like if you're driving baseline and, and put the ball up, 
seems like you get the ball out of your hand pretty quick and get it up to the rim. Is that something? Is that just the way you've always been? Yeah. Or is that something that was taught to you? I mean, is is just read and react. You know, the defender was behind me, so I had to get it up quick before he gets away. Yeah. You all um, got Pat back tonight in the lineup. So yeah, all right, smiling, right? Um, if your baby get bigger. What does he add to the front court? Defense. Uh, I mean, Pat. You know, he's six eight. It's another big person on the court. He can rebound. He can, you know, do it. Do anything else that we do. So, I mean, it's just you know another body on the court that we need, just in case you know one of us get in foul trouble, one of us hurt, or you know whatever the case may be. You know, he's a good player, uh, defensive minded. He's still learning, but he's been playing pretty good.